Hey guys, this is uh, Psychic Tracy Brown. How are you today? Welcome, 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 Jessica. Hey. Um, couple things. The war room. The war room. Um, if you haven't seen it already, go see it. It's still in theaters. Really, really good movie. Hard to explain. You really just need to go, and then you get it. That's where you get it. Hey, Jessica. How you doing, it, Waters? And then, so, again, the war room. And then Block Talk Radio will come out this weekend. And the telephone number to call in is 914-803-8629. It is, hello, hi, honey. It is, hi, sketches. Hi, sketches. It is um, Strike a Hero Camo. Camo, hi. Um, Block Talk Radio, 914-803-8629. And I'm going to do it this weekend at 11 o'clock. So tune in. Hi, sketches. Tune in. Um, and that's a free reading. So I'm always telling you guys, call in, call in. But I'm also only, only telling you guys, call in for 15 minutes. Like, don't spend your money. You don't know me. I love saying that. You don't know me. <laughs> but you'll get to know me. But... Cameron is real. What is that? What is that? But but I also to give back to my peoples. I give free readings on Saturday, so tune in. Um, the written word. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Someone said I love people from the from the USA. Okay, we're kind of quirky. Um. She's great, everyone. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're going to hell. Oh, who's going to hell? You? You're going to hell? Really? <laughs> who's going to hell? You're going to hell? <laughs> it's my hair. If you knew me, you would know that I, this is my hair. Everybody knows that. Because I show pictures on um, Periscope where my hairdresser is literally blowing out my hair. This is my hair. But it doesn't really matter. Um, so, I was going to say something. Okay, so Periscope, um, Block Talk Radio, join me on that. 914-803-4829 for your free readings. Um, goodbye. Um, the written word, the written word. Now, come on, guys. I am getting some emails. I didn't do it yesterday because I had a problem with my sister. I have a special needs sister that I am solely responsible for, and she hasn't been happy. And so I told them, I said, if she's not happy, I'm not happy. And if I'm not happy, you guys have a problem. So. I had another meeting with my sister yesterday, and that's where I threw the book at them. <laughs> I just kept throwing a book at all of them. <laughs> it's really funny. I wish I had a witness to this. <laughs> In any case, um, Psychic Tracy Brown. Psychic Tracy Brown at Yahoo. And Tracy is spelled T-R-A-C-E-Y. Now, the written word is about... Psychic therapy, not a psychic reading, because some of the questions that have come through are more of a psychic reading. I don't want to do psychic readings on a written word. I want your problems. I'm Dear Abby. I'm Ann Landers. I want your problems, and I want you to state your case. This is what I'm into. Am I crazy? And then we can discuss it. No names will be mentioned. It will be written word, one, two, blah, blah, blah. In any case, where are my cards? Oh, here they are. <laughs> In any case, today's topic is going to be Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony. And I apologize to all my peeps out there. You guys have been dying for me to do Selena Gomez. I refuse for whatever reason. I just didn't do it. It turns out, you know, she's a sick little girl. So I'm thinking that... Um, Sean and I can do it on Friday tomorrow, and we'll see, like, what her path life is going to look like now that she's had such a young diagnosis of, um, 
lupus and she's had some chemotherapy so oh boy my heart just goes out to her my prayers my prayers go out to her fifth harmony fifth harmony so you guys want me to do fifth harmony huh all right yeah all right fifth harmony apparently these little bunches are not getting along <laughs> So I'm going to check it out. Why are they not getting along? Are they not getting along? Are they not getting along? Okay, so sometimes when I close my eyes, I get visions, right? So I got three circles up here with the nucleus inside. Perfect circles. I don't know where that came from. And then there was a circle over here. And then there was no circle. And so, I'm sorry that your mom has lupus. My prayers goes out to her. And so, when I get three circles up here and one here, and then I'm talking about fifth harmony, and that's just four circles, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, one of them doesn't get along with any of them. Three of them get along like sisters, or at least they bond together enough because the one that's not even a part of the circles that I got uh, they bond together enough against that one. There's another one that is about to leave the circle of threes. That's what it looked like to me. It's like three circles up here and one fell off. So it might have been four against one. And now it's definitely three that are going to stay together. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know all these girls. I love them and I think they're so cute. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I also investigate it them i did a psychic investigation them against little mix because when i checked on twitter there seems to be some comparison they're from the uk and these girls are from the us and here's what i noticed the difference between little mix and fifth harmony fifth harmony was pulled together guys by simon cowell they were pulled together which means hey where's my heart can i get some hearts can I get some thoughts? Can I get some love? <laughs> Thank you. All of a sudden, it just like dropped to zero. Like, no! Um, fifth Harmony, but it's okay. I know you guys actually like to listen, so I apologize. You know what? If you want to stop, go ahead and stop, and then we'll do the hearts again in the end. Because I know you guys just, when I do my readings, hey, lovesick voodoo, I, when I do my readings, I know you guys are just like, what is she saying? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> When I checked Fifth Harmony against Little Mix, hi. Little Mix has a Spice Girls vibe. They also have a very unique style. They also look like they're allowed to come to the table with their unique style. So there's something about them that, unfortunately, Fifth Harmony, not against you, Little Mix feels like they have a better angle because they might have been pulled together with the knowing that they were going to be a group. Whereas Fifth Harmony was put together by a Simon Kyle, uh, Simon Cowell and they all came as individuals. So now to make them look cohesive, they kind of dress alike, which means you kind of take away their identities. That's what I'm getting. So, I can't imagine that they're not going to have problems regardless. Because they didn't come under the same umbrella. Each one of them came as a separate, hopeful to be a solo artist. And they're all fantastic in terms of singing. My favorite, of course, is uh, Namdi. Namdi? It's an unusual name. Is it African? Namdi? Something like that. You're so pretty. Um, but And I also like you girls because I think that you guys are thick thigh girls. And you're probably not. But the impression is that you're thick thigh girls. And that's really good. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Why did I put 12? All right. What's around these prepubescents? <laughs> that's what I like to call the kids. They're prepubescents. Wow. 
By the way, my cards are from um, Doreen Virtue. The angel card, especially in the beginning, that's from Dory Virtue. And then my, my reading cards are Ellen Dugan. So, you know, look her up and um, enjoy. Enjoy. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. You know, I got to tell you, there seems to be a woman that's a bigger problem here. Did you get the Dory Virtue deck? I love Dory Virtue. Um, so invest, invest in Dorian Virtue. There seems to be a woman that is in the mix here with these girls. So I know Kaiman, Simon Cow is, okay, well, I know Simon Cow is, um, you know, the big hokonga, but there seems to be a woman here that's in the mix. But it also feels like, whoever this woman is, it feels like she is one of the girl's managers. Like, it feels like there's a closer connection. It could be a mom, momager, manager, that wants to somehow have victory and pull her child away. May very well be successful, but if she's successful, she could actually turn their success around to not being successful. So whoever this woman is, I kind of wish you would back off. I think these girls can work out their differences and their work ethics on their own. Interesting enough, I don't see them breaking up right now. Let's be clear about that. That's not what's going to happen. I see them all just trudging along. Like they get along on stage and then when they're off stage, they're like, they're not saying anything. Um, I definitely see Simon Kyle insisting that this group stay together. I think he's having a problem in one direction, and he doesn't want to look like he can't handle a bunch of girls. So, whatever's going on with One Direction, that train is gone. Simon will always have a problem with One Direction at this stage of the game. Doesn't look the same thing for Fifth Harmony. And by the way, Fifth Harmony, you kind of can't afford this right now. You guys are new. You're pre-provescent. So let's not like do too much right now. Let's all stay focused on your careers. I know that there is another album coming out. I do feel like that album is going to be successful. My concern is that if it's successful, doesn't mean one of you two want to leave. The answer to that question is yes. The way I think the person is going to leave though, I think somebody is getting sick. Now, I'm not going to say they're going to get sick on purpose, I, you know, or it's going to be a fake sickness like um, like Kim Zosiak. I'm not saying that, but there's a sickness coming. And then there's a replacement. Um, and I think the replacement actually could wind up being with an, another African-American girl. Somebody leaving, somebody's getting sick, sick and then leaving, and then replaced. So I, I can't quite see Fifth Harmony breaking up. Do they, <clears throat> excuse me, do they get along? No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't get along at all. <sighs> it's only going to get worse. They're, they're getting through the next album because they have to. There must be some sort of contract. Um, somebody gets sick. How old are these girls? Because there's a potential for somebody to get pregnant, too. Would that be scandalous? Maybe not nowadays, but they do have competition against Little Mix. And Little Mix kind of looks younger than Fifth Harmony. So I don't know if they can afford, any one of these girls can afford to get pregnant, actually. Or maybe, maybe they'll get pregnant and then say they'll sick. they're sick. See? Something. Um, they don't get along. I get the tower, I get the tennis stores. They don't get along at all. Simon, though, why the war room? I want everybody to go see the war room. I love the movie. If I love it, I want you to see it. It's really good. Um, it's a movie. Go see it. I love it. I have no financial responsibility with the war room. I'm just saying go see it. Simon Cowell is not going to let them break up. It just can't go down like that. There is a woman, grown woman, in the mix that seems to want to pull one of the girls away. Um, there's going to be a lot of confusion and a lot of sneakiness that's going to come out more and more. 
all right? There's going to be a lot more um, public information, which again, knowing Simon Kyle, doesn't matter to him. Any news is good news. Um, I think I'm going to end this. I think I'm going to end this, and here's what I'm going to say. I think that there's another album going coming out, and I believe one year after the album that comes out, which I don't think that album comes out until January, February, one year after the album comes back, co goes out, oh, I'm stuttering today, that's when I believe you will begin to hear rumors of a breakup. Aww. Oh, thank you. Who, who left my telephone number? Okay, yes, you can get a reading from me. Thank you. Um, Kay something, can you? Something? <laughs> yes, you can get a reading from me. The reading to call me. Oh, yeah. Keys. Keys Miles Isle. Thank you. 818-985-2010. That's the call me for a reading. I'm here five days a week. Try me for 15 minutes. Don't make yourself crazy. You know, you got that question about that boyfriend, about that career. Bye. Bye, sketches. Now, you're welcome. On, oh, hearts, everyone, hearts, on Blog Talk Radio, I do them on Saturdays, in the month of October, it's been a little sporadic, I'll be back in full swing by November, this Saturday, 11 o'clock, Pacific, Pacific time, call me, call me for a free reading, 818, no wait, 914-803-9900. But guess what? Just go on the internet. Block Talk Radio slash Pop Culture Psychic. I'm there. I just show up. <laughs> All right, guys. By the way, I was right about Kevin McCarthy. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, we did whether or not Kevin McCarthy would wind up being Speaker of the House on Tuesday. Toot toot. I was right. He just stepped down a few hours ago. Bye, guys. Call me for your own readings. I love you. Hearts, 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 hearts. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. And me and Sean will do Selena Gomez tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Hello, my dear friends. How are you today? Hi, Reality with Lala. How are you? <laughs> Let me see if I can get the lighting just right in this place. It's one of my biggest issues here. Let me see. Put it here. Don't leave me. I'm right here, guys. Continue to try and join me. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh my God, this is the worst video ever so far. Hi, Ticket Bella, how are you? Hi, everyone, how are you today? Ah, come join, join, join. I'm waiting because I have a treat for you all today. Let me push this a little back a little. Oh, some of it fell on the, on the table, but that's okay. We will figure out what all this is. Hi, guys. Cute outfit. Oh, thank you. Thank 